A lot of people from my cinematic reaction videos were saying that I needed to come and react to these origin stories. So I want to see what these are all about. I'm excited to learn more about the characters. I have been playing ranked recently. I am gold in tank and support and then plot in DPS. So it has been super fun to get to play the game, but I also really love the lore and getting to learn about the characters and what makes them unique. So that's what we're here to do. So I went online and I looked up the origin stories in release order. I'm just going off of what I found. This might not be accurate. I am trying to do my best, but also I might get it wrong. I'm just going off of the website that I found. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more, make sure that you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. All right, first up, we have Tracer's origin story. The next generation teleporting fighter, the Slipstream. Enter Lena why does it sound like that? <laughs> That's me. The audio cut out. Opportunity I've dreamed of my whole life. He was a pilot? On my first flight, the teleportation matrix malfunctioned and I disappeared. Uh -oh. I was missing for months and no one knew where or when I had gone. By the time Overwatch found me, I was little more than a ghost. The doctors call my condition chronal disassociation. Interesting. I in and out of existence. Disappearing for hours and days at a time. Oh, that's and sad. Was there, I couldn't touch anything, but my friend Winston would not give up. Oh. He kept at it day and night until he invented the chronal harness that keeps me anchored to the present. Oh. I was myself again. Even better, it turned my condition into something great. I have control over my own time, and oh. I can speed it up and slow it down at will. My career as a pilot was wow, over. I didn't know that. But my life as an Overwatch agent had begun. She's so cute. Wow, Sounds that's like so interesting. But don't worry. We'll have plenty of time for stories later. <laughs> Cheers. That would be so sad. Disappearing for hours and days at a time and then not being able to come back. Like, that would be so sad and lonely. Oh, well, good for Winston on helping her out. Oh. All right, the next one that I have is the soldier origin story. Try and make sure that the audio is good. <laughs> My name is Jack Morrison. Jack Morrison. People used to call me a hero. I led Overwatch for 20 years. We ended the Omnic Crisis and paved the way to a better future. Those were the good old days. The good old days. They didn't last. No. Oh. Bad guys popped up all over the world. Bad guys. Lots of folks said we failed to keep the world safe. Protests broke out. They said that we were the problem. He's got such a nice voice. People called from my head. They almost got their wish. Man. It was a conspiracy. Overwatch got hit from inside and out. Our enemies blew up our headquarters. And me with it. Uh oh. They thought what? I died. Oh, I was like, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Part of me did. Part of me did. Same. But the war goes on. Now, I move in secret, striking from the shadows. Wow. Hunting all those that brought Overwatch down. He faked his own death. Call me a vigilante That's if you badass. want. Truth is, I'm just a soldier. I'm just a soldier. Wow. That was a cool video. Okay, was not expecting that. All right, assuming this is about Junkrat. Oh, it's a little loud. Tonight, on a moment in crowd, their spree of mayhem and chaos has caused untold millions in property damage around the world. But who are these two deranged Junkers? <laughs> what inspired their orgy of destruction? Is this the work of master criminals or just a couple of idiots? It was Junkrat who masterminded the string <laughs> of attacks that has stretched from the Australian outback to King's Row and beyond. Now this oh, explosive shoot. obsessed freak. The dynamic duo. Set on even greater acts of destruction. His co-conspirator, <laughs> Roadhog, is a remorseless killer who hides Hype his seven three. mask. This giant of a man is more than happy to use violence to resolve any situation. Together they have burned, bombed, robbed, and killed their way across the world. And 
their calamitous crime spree shows no sign of slowing down. Following their personal creed of no job too big, no oh. score too small, it seems as though there is no end in sight to this senseless rampage. Unless we get your help. If you have any information as to the whereabouts <laughs> of these two extremely dangerous criminals, extremely you dangerous, need to contact us right away. Remember, crime doesn't pay, but we do. Oh my god. That kind of makes sense because I'm pretty sure I was playing in a game and we had a Roadhog and a Junkrat and they were he was saying something about I think it was Junkrat's line it was something about being like a good dynamic duo or the best duo or I don't know something like that that he made a reference to him and Roadhog and I had no idea that this was their backstory. All right, we are watching Anna's origin story. Anna is my favorite healer. I love Anna so much. He's so cool. Oh. My dearest Fariha, every mother hopes for a better life for her daughter. I was willing to fight and die for it. I taught you that there is nothing more important than protecting the ones you love. Oh my gosh, this is going to make me sad. You grew up surrounded by heroes. Look they how pretty she is. Stories of adventure and dreams of glory. Aww. And one day, you wanted to join them. But it was not the life I wanted for you. Who is her daughter? I never told you of the weight I carry from all those I killed to hmm. keep everyone safe. But I always did what was asked of me. Until one day, I could not take the life I needed to. <gasps> I hesitated, and everything changed. Whoa. It was Widow. The people who I was supposed to protect died, and I was left behind, gravely wounded. The world believed that I was dead. I thought perhaps that was for the best. I've lost so much in my life. I've said goodbye to so many friends. Aww. I've buried the ones closest to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. So I cannot stop fighting. Not yet. Not while there are people still waiting for me. Dang. One day, I hope you'll understand. Oh. Wow. Your mother, Anna. Um, that that was a lot. That was a lot. I'm I'm learning more. I'm learning more. I want to know more now. All right, we're watching Sombra's origin Who story. Is Sombra. Sombra. To the system. She's nobody. She doesn't exist. No one remembers the girl. There were a thousand children like her after the war. But none of them could hack like she could. And she she's not like other girls. Were just as easily manipulated. <laughs> now she understood how the world worked. Information is power. Hmm. So she kept hacking. Politicians, corporations, governments. It was an addiction. But for the first time, Ooh. someone noticed her. When your hardware's obsolete, it's time to upgrade. The girl was gone. Whoa. And Sombra was born. Now, I'm ready. Huh. Dang. I'll find out who really runs the world. I'll find their weaknesses and how girls, to girls run them. the world. <laughs> and when I do, I'll be the one pulling the strings. Hmm. Who is Sombra? You'll never know. Adios. Oh my God. Okay, I said in the other video that Sombra was my favorite because I mean I was new and I had. I mean I still think she's 
fun, but there is nothing more irritating than a good Sombra. So many ranked games I have lost because they've had a good Sombra and we have we didn't counter her or we just couldn't kill her. And it was it was very, very annoying. <laughs> that is a really cool origin story, though. All right, Arissa. So Arissa is actually my favorite tank. Arissa is the first tank that I ever learned and my favorite, but I didn't actually play her at all in Overwatch 1. Um, I know she had different abilities in Overwatch Even 1. Here, in Numbani, we needed something a child? To us. Enter the OR 15 defense bots. Huh? We took the old Adina model from the crisis and gave them a complete makeover. They kept to. us safe for a while. I was at the airport when Doomfist attacked. Poor bots didn't stand a chance. Everyone else gave up on you, but I saw what you could be. So I rebuilt you. No. Updated your programming and gave you a heart. New personality module installed. System rebooting. Oh. Oh, OI 15 online. <laughs> no, that's no good. Every great hero needs a real name. What about Orisa? Oh, that's cute. I made you to be strong and brave. You <laughs> still have a lot to learn. <laughs> and you'll probably mess up sometimes. But I know you'll become the hero we need. My name is Orisa. I will keep you safe. That is my primary function. Oh, that's cute. Who is the little girl? Do we I don't know if we know anything about this girl or not there might there's probably other lore and stuff that's behind this i don't i i don't Didn't know stand a chance. unless i'm actually just i'm not able to recognize who that is okay this one's the king's row uprising origin story they're all really short 20 years after we won the war against the omnics we were no closer to living together in peace the building of a new home for the omnics in london was supposed to be the first step in improving human-robot relations. But it never had a chance. Hmm. The Omnic Extremist Group, Null Sector, launched a surprise attack on King's Row. Hundreds were killed, and thousands more were displaced as they took control. Now, they are hunting down the last of the survivors. Hmm. It could be the beginning of a new war between humans and Omnics. Unless oh, we can stop them. Commander Morrison has sent our strike team to liberate the city. It's my first mission and the only way to save my home. Oh, this was the first mission. Too late. Oh, they're kind of doing like like prequel things where you can see first missions and, and do all that. I need to go through the entire timeline because I've been I've been doing things up into release order, but not anything chronological. So I think I have a bunch of different things that I've pieced together from cinematics and so far what I've heard from the origin stories. I'll need to go through and watch like a video that shows the entire timeline so I understand it fully. All right, this one's the Doomfist origin story. Humanity is always being tested. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. Hmm. Doomfist versus Winston. And Tracer. Genji? Oh, this art style is cool. Look at this. So, Doomfist is not a good guy? Every battle makes us stronger. Oh. Punch. Oof. <gasps> oh, he's ulting. He's angry. <gasps> no 
those who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. Oh my. Too bad he doesn't feel that OP in the actual game. I mean, <laughs> someone's comment is, what a cool character. I hope they don't change his role and make him extremely weak. <laughs> Well, I hate to I hate, I hate to burst your bubble. Thank you guys for watching these origin stories with me. I have a part two coming in just a few days, so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you guys do not miss that upload. I also stream on Twitch if you guys want to come check it out. It's twitch.tv/electra.